We are studying the book of Exodus in our Bible readings, lesson number 149. And we read up to 317 in the book of Exodus in our last message, but we have to go back to 314 because this is a message in itself. I'll read this to you from Hebrew because it's very important from Hebrew. You're going to miss the story otherwise. Wyomer Elohim El Moshe, Eye Asher Eye, Wyomer Kol Tamar Libne Yisrael Eye Shilakani Alikam. Now it says here, and he said and kept on saying, God, Elohim. This is the whole triune God. Elohim stands for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. And Elohim said unto Moses, and kept on saying unto Moses, and Moses had asked him, who, do they, who shall I say sent me? What God shall I say? They didn't know who he was. They just know that he was a God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they didn't know who he was. And in Egypt, they've got lots of gods, and they all have names. So now Moses says, Moshe, actually is his name, Moshe. Moshe says that, uh, uh, who shall I say sent me? And God said, and he kept on saying unto Moses, Ayah. And Ayah means, uh, it's first person construct singular, cow imperfect. And it comes from Hayah. Hayah means to become. And uh, this goes into the New Testament because Jesus is the great I Am. And we're going to look at that in the New Testament as we look at this verse. I am and I keep on existing. Which I am and keep on existing. I am the eternal one. I am the eternal one. I am, I keep on existing, which, a little particle of relation there, which, a yeah, I share a yeah. And he said and kept on saying, thusly, you shall, in this manner, you shall say, and you shall keep on saying to the sons of Israel, live in a, to the sons of Israel, I am, I keep on being the eternal one, he has sent me unto you. The Eternal One has sent me unto you. Now let's go to the New Testament. The New Testament is the fulfillment of the Old Testament. In John, the first chapter, and some of you have heard me do this at least a thousand times, or several hundred times, but we're going to do it again. Because you need to get this down without any doubt and without... You will know that Jesus Christ is the great I am. <clears throat> now John 1.1 1, 1 says, In beginning, in RK, ain ho logos. And it says in the New American Center here, In beginning was, but it not was. It is he kept on being the God of the Word. The Word there is a uh, Hebraism from the word Hadabar, or for the, it stands in for the word Jehovah. In the beginning, and that word singular there, beginning, this is back there, the ever existing one, the Hayah, Hayah, the ever existing one. In the beginning, the ever existing one, the word, the Jehovah, Jesus. It says, in the beginning kept on being the ever existing one, and the Jehovah, or word or Jesus kept on being with God. He kept on being in several parts of Godhead, and the word kept on being God. Also, the word kept on being God. John 1.14 says, Kahlogo Sarksagenito. And the word, and the word here, the word Jehovah became flesh. And he dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory, the glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the fulfillment of the Jehovah title. Jehovah means he who shall become. Now let's go on a little bit further. 
John bore witness of him, cried out, This is he whom I said he comes after me, but he is a higher rank than I am, for he existed before me. Now John the Baptist was six months older than Jesus, literally. But, John says here, in John 1.1, 1, 1, John 1.14, 1, and let's go back and look a little bit more about it. He, was, he kept on being in the, in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness will not accept it, will not grab a hold of it, will not comprehend it. Isaiah 44, 6 through 8. And there came a man sent from God whose name was John. And he came for a witness that he might bear witness of the light. He's talking about the light, which is. Jesus, Jehovah, there was the true light which comes into the world and enlightens every man. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. The world would not acknowledge him. And he came to his own, his own people, and those who were his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to him he gave the night the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. And it said we were born not out of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. John 1.18, now let's go on down a little bit further. No man has seen God at any time, the only begotten God, that's Jesus, that's the Word, that's Jehovah, who is in the bosom of the Father, the one who keeps being in the bosom of the Father. Remember, he's in several John 1 and 1, the second uh, sentence in that verse. It says, In the beginning kept on being the Jehovah, and the Jehovah kept on being an inseparable part of the Godhead. He repeats it down here in this one. No man has seen God at any time, the only begotten God. The one being. Own is the word there in Greek. It's it's nominee, singular, masculine, present, participle, acting. The one being in the bosom, inseparable from the Father. He has led himself out. Now let's go on further to John, the 8th chapter. It's not finished yet. Jesus, now he's going to emphasize what John said. <clears throat> In John, the 8th chapter, the whole chapter there is, is wonderful. He's on the Mount of Olives. Verse number 21, And he said, Therefore again I go away, and you shall not seek me, seek, seek me, and shall die, and you shall die in your sin. Where I'm going, you cannot come. Therefore the Jews were saying, Surely he will not kill himself, will he, since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come. And he was saying to them, You are from below, and I am from above. I'm from heaven. You're from the dirt. You're from the earth. You are of this world, and I'm not of this world. I said, Therefore to you, you shall die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am a he. Look at that. I am. Now, the translation from the Hebrew Bible into the Greek Septuagint, which is a Greek translation of the Old Testament, done about basically 300 years before Christ. That was a King James Version, or the common version of the Bible at that time. And it says, Ego Amy, and he says here, Ego Amy, I am that I am. I am he, you shall die in your sins. And so they were saying to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What have I been saying to you from the very beginning? I told you who I am. I have many things to speak and to judge concerning you, but he who sent me is true, and the things which I heard from him, these things I speak in the world. And they did not realize that he had been speaking to them about the Father. And Jesus therefore said to them, When you... Lift up the Son of Man. Now this is talking about on the cross, remember? They lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. 
when they were bitten by the snakes. And basically, the snake was a type of sin, the, the, the snake was a type of certain death, an eternal death at that. When Moses took that brazen serpent and put it on the cross, or up on a stake, and when they looked at it, they lived. All of that portrayed Jesus to come. Jesus said for them, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. I am the eternal God. I am the eternal existing one. A yea, a share, a yea, ego, amy. I am He, and I do nothing on mine own initiative, but I speak these things as the Father taught me. And He sent, He who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things which are pleasing to Him. And He spoke these things, many came to believe in Him. And Jesus therefore was saying to those Jews who had believed Him, if you abide in my word, then you are truly disciples of me, or my disciples. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, free from the law of Moses. Remember, it says that the law came by Moses, grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Now they say this. <clears throat> they answered him and said, We are Abraham's offspring, and have never yet been enslaved to anyone, how is this that you say you shall become free? Now they're liars. They had been enslaved many times. They'd been carried off into captivity. They'd been brought back. Antiochus Epiphanes had worked them over again. The Maccabees had uh, uh, freed them and then went ahead and miracle of lights, which is basically what we're going to see, I think, in the 10th chapter. He said, and truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. Talking about the law now. You want, to be, you want to be under the law? Then you are a slave to the law. And a slave does not remain in the house forever. The son does remain forever. If, therefore, the son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's offspring, yet you seek to kill me, because my word has no place in you. The word of God, the word of the Old Testament, we just looked at Exodus 3.14. You know, Isaiah 53, Psalm 22, these are all psalms concerning the Messiah. These are messianic promises. Jesus answered them, True to truth, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. If therefore the Son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And I know that you are Abraham's offering, yet you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak the things which I have seen with my Father. Therefore you also do the things which you heard from your Father, the devil. He tells them that they're children of Satan. We did a message the other day that turned out to be number seven in the world, which was the face of Satan. You know, sometimes when you see certain people's faces, it's like looking at Satan. Because Satan is behind them. Satan empowers them. Satan gives them the strength to do what they're doing. This happens in politics. If you go back and look in the days of Hitler, and how Hitler went into Europe and the France and Belgium and Germany, or uh, France and Belgium and, and Netherlands and all those countries, they went in there, and they, and they took over. And they put up puppet rulers. And you can only believe one thing, you can only say one thing. You have no freedom of speech, you have no freedoms at all, unless you follow their rules. Isn't that what's going on in America today? The very self, same self thing. We need to learn history to protect ourselves from the errors and from the face of Satan. And Jesus said to them, when I look at you, I see Satan. When you look at somebody, you can see the mother and father in them in many ways. And Jesus said, when I see you, I see the face of Satan. I see your father. 
When you look at me, you ought to see the Father in heaven. When you look at me, you ought to see the works of the Holy Spirit. As I do all the miraculous things that I do. I speak the things which I have seen from my Father, and therefore also you do the things you heard from your Father. And he answered, and they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. And Jesus said to them, If you are Abraham's children, do the deeds of Abraham. Abraham believed. He believed. But as it is, you are seeking to kill me. A man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God, this Abraham did not do. But as it is, you are seeking to kill me. Abraham didn't want to kill the one that met him. And yet the great I am had met them. You're doing the deeds of your father. And they said to him, we are not born out of fornication. We have one father, even God. He told them that when I see your face, I see the face of Satan. I see the face of your father. And Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceed forth and have come from God. For I have not even come on my own initiative, but he who sent me. Why do you not understand what I am saying? It is because you cannot hear my words. Satan is your father. How many people in America today are totally, absolutely been bamboozled and fooled to do the things that they're doing today? Uh, righteousness is upside down in America today. Truth is error. Lies are truth. What a mess that we're in today. What an upside down mess. And this is exactly what Jesus came to. These religious leaders were not religious leaders of God, but of Satan. You are of your father the devil. He tells them plain. And you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. <clears throat> How could we apply this today in our political society? Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature. You know, Joe Biden is a compulsive, historical liar. <laughs> Even the uh, liberal press says he, he, he's, he keeps on lying when we, know it's not, it, when we know it's a lie because he's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar all of his life, so he's going to lie. And whatever he wants to say, whatever stories he's going to make up, which we know are, are false, and because he has so much power, he just thinks he can lie, and you ought to disbelieve it. These people had power in their day, and many people followed them. Look how many people followed them to the, to the trial of Jesus and screamed, Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. How many people follow this liberal, left-wing, totalitarian, fascist rule that we have today and think that they're right and cheer on? How many of those thousands of people there outside of the praetorium screamed and hollered, crucify him, crucify him, crucify him? This reminds me of what they've done to Donald Trump, Donald John Trump. Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. We don't want him. But the biggest part of America believes him because he tells the truth. How many ways that we can establish this very thing that's happening to us today that happened 2,000 years ago? Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Now, I said something about Joe Biden earlier. Joe Biden's wife was drunk. She was intoxicated and she was driving a car with her children in the car. She had three children in the car. And she ran a stop sign and a truck driver was coming in a truck and he did everything he could do to try to not hit her. And yet, she got killed. One of the children 
two of the boys were very, very well injured. It wasn't their truck driver's fault, but it was her fault. She was intoxicated. D-W-D-U-I. Driving up all under the influence. Yeah, many times, over and over, in years and years and years, he kept telling about this story about his wife getting killed by this drunk driver. The stories are lies. Now, go back into the Biden crime family. There is Hunter, there is James, and there is Frank, and there is Joe. Ever since Joe Biden cheated his way into the Senate in Delaware, and that's exactly what he did. He lied his way into the, into the Senate. Basically stole the election from a man named Boggs. Used the Mafia, Francis Sharan and Jimmy Hoffa, to propagate him and to stop the truth in the newspapers that were coming out and were going to absolutely expose him before the election. But they stopped it. They stopped the papers from running. But anyway, Frank Biden was down by San Diego, and he's driving this Porsche. He's actually got another guy driving the Porsche, and he's shifting the gears, and he's telling him to step on the step, step on it, step on it, step on it, and he's going speeding 60, 70, 80 miles an hour to 25 and 35 miles on. And this guy, and, they, and, they, and he tells keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And they hit a man and killed him. He died. And they hit and run. They ran off. Well, because his brother, the senator, he got off. He got off. But he took off. They brought a civil suit against him, and the family, he had two daughters, and the, and the daughters sued him for $900,000. Wrongful death. Joe Biden sent him down in South America with energy deals. This, all this energy thing, you know, we shut America energy down, but he's working in the Ukraine and Russia and China with all these energy deals. He's, he's making money because uh, we're not producing energy and we're having to buy it from other elsewhere. Anyways, down in South America, the family write a letter to Joe Biden in the White House and ask him, please, you must understand, since your wife died in the accident and everything else, please help us. Where is your brother so we can serve him and so we can recover some of the losses from our family and this wrongful death? Joe Biden says, I got your letter. My brother, Frank, has no permanent address. I don't know where he is except he's coming in and out of the White House all the time. This is when he was Vice President, and even President. He's in and out of the White House all the time, and he, he said he has no, no residence, and he has no income, no money. He's a millionaire. The whole Biden crime family worked together. Now, this is what we see here. This is lies. Jesus said, you're a liar. And the father lies. They just lie. Remember when Joe Biden was running for president and he says, uh, when they talk about his hunter, son Hunter Biden, which was working deals for the whole family, he's a bag man for the whole Biden family, he said, all Russian disinformation. Lies, lies, lies. Constantly. The women that came forward that said that he had molested them, oh, lies, 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 shame on them, lies, lies, lies. Jesus said, because I speak the truth, you do not believe me. Which one of you convicts me of sin? I speak truth, why do you not believe me? In what we call, in force, we have power. In rule, we have power. They did not want the, the truth, yet they had power. They demanded his death later. He who is a God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them, because you are not of God. 
I look at the mast, the flag when it's flying at half mast in America. I watch the flag flying at half mast, and I think, you know what? They ought to fly the they ought to fly the flag at half mast for all those children they have aborted and murdered. Biden, a Catholic, is doing this. Nancy Pelosi, a Catholic, is demanding to take communion with the Catholic Church and killing children. Murderers? Murder is murder, people. When a child is conceived in this world, it is a life forever. It is a life for all eternity. It is a life, whether they're born or not. The flag ought to fly at half mast every time there's an abortion. These little children are just as important as the leaders of this country. But when you say murder is right and we don't have a choice, what about the child? They want safe abortions. Abortions are never safe. It always, the child always dies. The child always dies. The Jews answered and said, do we, do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? They're saying that he's wrong. He's a demon. What's happened in the last three years? What's happened in the last six years when Obama sicked the FBI, the CIA, and the Department of Justice on Trump and spied on him? Remember, we had a president resign over that. His name was Nixon. And he didn't do it. They did it. Hillary Clinton paid $1 million to Fusion GPS to, to bring a case against Donald Trump and to fabricate a case and to spread it all over and leak it to the press. This happened in World War II, people. The very group in England, the United Kingdom, that the steel dossier came from was the ones that so many years ago that Virginia Hall was sent out as a spy in World War II to go into France and to build up a resistance. That group that Winston Churchill founded, that steel dossier, he was a part of that. But instead of bringing forth truth, he brought forth lies. You have a Samaritan, you have a demon. They scream so loudly that, that the right is wrong. The uh, society today is upside down. Racism has not been a problem in America so much until now. The Republicans started the first Civil War on purpose. And the Republicans in that time were not the Republicans of today. The Democrats were the, what we might call, the conservative America. When Abraham Lincoln come up, he did exactly everything that Biden wants to do today. He wanted to shut down the press, except he already had the press behind him. The press wouldn't tell you, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN wouldn't tell the truth if their life depended on it. And if you told the truth in the North, Abraham Lincoln suspended habeas corpus and arrested you, confiscated your press, and you never spoke again. If you didn't speak for him, and those editors that spoke for him, he patted their pocketbooks. Does not sound like Hitler, does not sound like Stalin, does not that sound like Mussolini. Does it not sound like Lenin? Mail to sing. Mao Tse Sing shut down Chinese society and it was a communist society and they would not eat anything but rice and a little bit of fish and things. 
You know that the Chinese food that was so so famous all over the world when Mao Zedong took over that the cooks, the chefs left and went to other countries. When they finally, after he died, they wouldn't go against him as long as he's alive, but after he died, they had to import Chinese cooks back to China to teach them how to cook again. Rice and fish. Jesus said, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me, and you dishonor my father. But I do not seek my glory. There is one who seeks judges. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. That's eternal death. How many people are being led astray by false religions in the world today? How many people in America today, how many women are being led to murder with abortion? How many women are led to murder their children that they have conceived? How many people are, have been led to do that? Because it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. And Jesus said to them, Now you know that you have a demon. The Jews said to Jesus, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died. And the prophets also, And you say that if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste of death. Surely you are not greater than our father Abraham who died. And the prophets died too. Whom do you make yourself to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, to whom he say, He is our God. And you have not come to know him, but I know him. And if I say that I do not know him, I should be a liar just like you are. But I do know him and keep his word. The American minds of these young women in America have been poisoned. Poisoned. America is upside down. It used to be, if you worked, you gained something. If you worked, you could get, get ahead. Now, if you don't work, you get ahead. Bank of America said that any uh, minority can get a loan with nothing down to buy a house. That is racial discrimination. I can tell you right now, in California, the Anglo-Saxon, the Caucasians are a minority. Now, I'm American Indian, so I'm on the good side now, you know, according to them. But isn't that racial discrimination if you give somebody a... a, a a loan to buy a house when they don't have any credit or anything else because you're a minority when they're actually the majority then the majority is the majority now he said your father Abraham your voice to see my day and he saw it and was glad now Jesus is going to take him back to Genesis the, the 22nd chapter where he saw the great I am there at when he was offering his son Isaac up to be as a burnt offering. And the Jews, for, Jews therefore said to him, You're not 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham. And Jesus said again, now we're going back to, to Exodus 3.14. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am the eternal one. Before Abraham became, I am the everlasting one in Exodus 3.14. And therefore they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. One more set of verses in John the 10th chapter. This ought to sell it all. John 10. John 10 and Psalm 23 of uh, part of it is Psalm 23 of the New Testament. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Jesus, I am the good shepherd. The Lord Jehovah is my shepherd in the Old Testament, as David said. Jesus said, I am that Jehovah, I am that good shepherd in John the 10th chapter. And we're about to do this right here. There was a division that arose among the Jews because of these words. 
And many of them were saying, he has a demon, and it's insane, and why do you listen to him? And others were saying, these are not sayings one demon possessed. <clears throat> a demon cannot open the eyes of the blind, can he? And at the t feast of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. Now we're going about the Feast of Lights. The Feast of Lights is on Hanukkah. And they come to Jesus. Now, let me tell you about the Feast of Hanukkah of Lights. They didn't have enough oil to light the candle, but there was enough oil. They, didn't, they wouldn't light the candlestick at all with what we call unconsecrated oil, but God made the oil last. And it lasted and lasted until they could get it consecrated. Just like the widow of Elijah with the oil that never went dry. The oil and the lamps didn't go out. And that was the Feast of Hanukkah. And, they, and that was in B.C. 165. At this time, the Feast of Dedication, the Feast of Life, took place in Jerusalem. And it, and it was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. And the Jews therefore gathered around him and were saying to him, How long do you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Did he not tell them plainly? I am the great I am. They wanted to stone him for blasphemy. They didn't want to hear his words. They didn't want to hear the truth. Jesus asked and said, I told you and you did not believe me. The works that I do in my Father's name, these bear witness of me. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. Remember, I am the good shepherd. In, in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me behind still waters. He restores my soul. He prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. I will walk in the house of the Lord forever. This is Jehovah. And Jesus said, I am that, I am that one. Starts here. Truly, truly, I say to you, he does not enter in by the door of the fold of the sheep, but climbs over some other way as a thief and a robber. And these are those. He entered the door. He who enters the door is a shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out. And he tells them down here that I am the good shepherd. He said, even as I, the Father, knows me, and I know the Father, I lay down my life for my sheep, and I have no other sheep. And I have other sheep which are not of this fold, and I must bring them in also, and they shall hear my voice. They shall become one flock with one shepherd. I am the good shepherd. But you do not believe me because you're not of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one shall snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. And I and my Father are one. First John 5 and 8 again. He tells the same thing over there. John uses that in the first John 5 and 8. And the Jews took up stones again to stone him. And Jesus answered them, I showed you many good works from the Father. Which of them are you stoning me? And the Jews answered him, says, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, because you said, You being a man, have made yourself out to God. And Jesus answered them, Has it not been written in your law that I said that you are God? I said that you are God. That Jesus, that Jesus' word in the Old Testament said, I said you are God. If he called them God, to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blasting, blasting because I said that I am the Son of God? Did Jesus not tell them that I am Jehovah, I am the Son of God, I am the one who shall become? If I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do them, though you do not believe, believe me because the works that you know, you know, may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. And therefore, they were seeking again to seize him, to snatch him. And he eluded their grasp. But many believed in him. The great I am of the Old Testament is 
Jesus of the New Testament. Our Father, we send this message out to you. Father, please use it wherever it goes in the world. Please protect us from error and lies and things in this world to come. Help us to see the truth and light. Help us to live in light and not darkness. Father, we pray for our country. Bring about justice and truth and righteousness again, we pray. Father, please forgive me where I fail you. In Jesus' name.